Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. And today we're continuing our video series, which is designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. We want to talk a little bit today about the friend of the court. The friend of the court has a role. Really, the friend of the court's role is an interface between you, the litigant, and the court a middleman to go there to help you solve certain issues you know, that pertain to custody, parenting time, child support. And really, they're supposed to be, it's supposed to be a user-friendly process where a person can go to the friend of the court and uh, maybe even without lawyers, just on their own and complain to them, you know, my ex is not letting me see my child. My ex is not paying child support. My ex is not cooperating with the court order. And they are supposed to help you resolve that issue. Presumably, without getting the judge involved, but sometimes it's unavoidable, but that's what they're supposed to do. Now, again, you have to understand the dynamic of it. You, you must appreciate the fact that there are many, many more cases than there are judges to handle them, than there are referees to resolve them. So when you go to the front of the court, it's designed to be a remedy for you. Will it be a fast remedy? Probably not. It might be faster than if you had something before the judge because it might be something where a referee could literally pick up the phone and say, uh, Miss Jones, we have Mr. Jones here. He says um, that there's been a problem with parenting time. We're going to put that back on track. And the friend of the court may be able to resolve things in a quicker way, perhaps without the need of, you know, time consuming hearing and expensive lawyers. It's possible. I will tell you, like any government organization or institution, it's not without its challenges. I think the challenges are more cases, less hands to handle it. I think that's a big challenge. I've heard criticism by some people, well, the friend of the court's supposed to help me. What kind of friend are they? I haven't seen my child in such and such time. Well, I don't know that that's necessarily the fault of the friend of the court so much as is that we have an overtaxed system and, you know, a lot of complaints and not enough people to handle it. I think uh, what goes on is a lot of people like to utilize the friend of the court because they think it'll be cheaper for them because they can go in by themselves. A lot of times that could be the case, but they could also find that it's not the case because they'll set up hearings if they can't get stuff done and they need lawyers anyway. So the, the friend of the court is designed to have that role to help you to be the buffer zone between you and the court. The court will refer a lot of things to the friend of the court to handle so that it can handle other things. And I would say like anything else, it is a very valuable system. It does work, but it's not without its challenges. And it's not a perfect system. It is certainly better than the alternative, which is utter chaos. If you have questions about your situation, whether or not the friend of the court can help you and what they can do for you, of course, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.